Welcome back to a new episode about code editors in PHP. So in order to write PHP code, you need to have a code editor. And every computer probably has Notepad installed, and you can run PHP code through Notepad, but that will not be very handy. What we actually want is to download a more advanced code editor so we could add extensions to it, which makes our programming life a lot easier. So I got a website on my screen now called Guru99, which shows me the best free code editor on either Mac or Windows. So let's go through them and look at them. So the first one is Notepad++, which is a pretty good one, but I don't like using it. You have Atom, which is a pretty good one. We have Visual Studio Code, which is a very good one as well. And we got Brackets. I won't be focusing on the others because I actually don't know them because I will be using Sublime Text, and Sublime Text is a paid version. But it really doesn't matter which code editor you use, you just need to use one. What I want to do in this video is to install brackets with you. So you probably don't have this link open, so let's go to Google, and let's type down brackets. And the website is brackets.io, and let's click on it. And let's install brackets. I haven't installed brackets as well, so I will be doing that right now. So please pause the video, and I will be seeing you back when we're done installing brackets. So my installation is done right now, so let's drag brackets to the applications folder, and let's open brackets. Well, I will pause the video right now, and I will be done when it's installed. If you have a MacBook, you will probably get a security check and just open brackets. Right now, we installed our code editor, and what we actually want to do is to write down htdocs in our search, and we want to do the same thing that we did in the last video. We want to drag our PHP underscore course inside brackets. And you can see that I have an index.php, and you're ready to go. So let's add something else at it. Welcome to my course about PHP. Save it. Go back to the local host. Let's open the PHP course, and you can see that the output changed. In order to get the most out of brackets, we need to install some extensions. So let me make it bigger. Extensions make our work a lot easier. If you want to install an extension, you have to go to the top of your Mac, click on File, and click on Extension Manager. Right now it's loading all the extensions, but the first extension that I want to add is Emmet. So let's type Emmet, and it's the second one. And Emmet is a popular extension that you can find in almost every modern code editor. This extension simply improves your coding workflow by expanding the CSS and HTML code. Mine is already installed, so install it, and I'll be seeing you in a second. And what Emmet actually does is, let's say that you want to create div tags. What you could do is type div and hit tab. And you can see that our tags are actually created. And the same thing can be done if you type doc, hit type, and your HTML tags are created. The second extension that I want to add, is called auto prefixer. So let's type it down and let's install it. And installation is successful. And what auto prefixer does is whenever you work with CSS, is making some tags work on every single browser. So whenever you want to add a transition and you hit tab, your transition tag will be created on every single browser. Let's install another one. And let's go back to File, click, extend, click on Extension, and let's search for Autosaver. Whenever you forget to save your file with this extension, you can save that extra time goes into hitting Control c or Command-C, because this tool will automatically save every change you make to your document. So let's install it. So let's close it. So in order to make the Autosaver work, you need to go to File, and you need to enable autosave. So let's click on it. And let's install the last extension. Let's go back to file. 
click on extension manager and let's search for bracket icons and what bracket icon does it it makes your work easier because it recognizes the different types of documents by tagging them with special and colorful icons you won't have to look for the file extension ever again to recognize a file you just have to look at the icon so we need to scroll down a little bit and it's the fourth one it's called bracket icons so let's install it close it and you can see that right in front of my index.php, a code icon appeared. So let's create a new file and let's call it style.css. If I save it, you can see that the icon is a hashtag, which stands for CSS. And let's do it one more time with HTML. So let's write down index.html. And you can see that the color of the index.html changed as well. So there are many more extensions that you could use and you can find them all on Google. I think that these are pretty important to use, but of course, if you want to add more, feel free to do it. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.